Ventus 1981 shirt. That would always be in the top five of shirts of all time for me. Go back to like when you were young and how it kind of affects you. Now I was like 12 then. You only ever saw foreign teams like maybe twice a year, you know, unless you were sort of the type of person who travelled abroad and I obviously wasn't at that stage my age. So they just sort of seemed really glamorous and it was Platini played for them who I know was a, you know, not the best person to think of at the moment, but he was an amazing player. You know, it's obviously my hometown team, but this one's um, it's a little bit of a joke as well. So that I'd have to have a new put one in there just because it's my team, you know. There's me young in 1990, if you want to know, look, I used to look like. It's a song by Half Man, Half Biscuit, basically, which were a Scouse band or a Tramia band. And it was kind of, again, struck a chord because at the time it wasn't trendy to like football. Nowadays, football shirts are sort of so in vogue and everywhere, you know, with, you know, grime artists wear them, skateboard kids wear them. And so when they came up with that song, they had this song called All I Want For Christmas Is A Duke La Praga Away Shirt. I spoke to the guy for the book and interviewed him about it. And he said we just picked Duke La Praga because it fitted. And he was trying to sum up really what I was trying to sum up, that, that you know, he only ever heard these teams every once in a while and he, and he mentioned it and it just stuck such a chord. From like 2000 on, I kind of didn't like any football shirts. I kind of just wasn't interested in them really. And that was the first shirt which kind of woke me up in my slumber. And I've always looking back at the past because when that came out, I just thought, that's just so brilliant. <laughs> and I think especially if you're like into fashion, you know, and just into clothing and style in any way, you know, lots of people will come around and say, that's a beautiful shirt. It just looks like a French Breton shirt. I think this year and last year are like year zero for football, in my opinion. If you look at all the launches of all the teams over the last year, it's been like with Stormzy or with Loyal Kana or Tottenham launched a new shirt and they did it in a nightclub. Everton launched a new shirt. You know, this it's is intrinsically linked to off the pitch and nightclubs and cool stuff now than it is to, oh, I support Liverpool, I'm only going to buy a Liverpool shirt. You know, that, that, those days are gone in my opinion. Oh, God. It'd be the usuals, wouldn't it? I couldn't see beyond the usuals. Germany or Brazil for me. I've got, I've got a bet on Griezmann being top scorer. My favourite team at the World Cup would be Spain. I adore how Spain play. I mean, I want England to do well. Don't get me wrong, because I do. You know, I know some Welsh people. I'm a proud Welshman, but I want England to do well. I'm not like that. But I'd like to see whoever plays the best football win it. I love the football Spain play. I just hope the manager, Uriel Sackin, doesn't knock it out for them. But yeah, I, I can't see past Germany or uh, Brazil.